seven, eight. We go one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven. Meet Dana Moore, a choreographer and dancer who not only knew Bob Fosse, but worked with him at the height of his career. She's teaching a Master Fosse class at Steps on Broadway, where, like me, you don't even have to be a pro dancer to take the class. I love being a teacher so, so much, and I love um, sharing this work because the dancers out there are so, so eager to just to feel it, to, to do the work physically is just wonderful, but also to know where, you know, our stories about how it was taught to us and teaching it how it was taught to us. It's a big task, but it's uh, a very, very, um, Satisfying. The class focuses on Fosse's unique and idiosyncratic style that, regardless of a dancer's proficiency, takes time and repetition to master. It is very tricky and complicated and difficult to um, just know the little movements of the body. His choreography is full of that. They're very much informed by what we are saying what we're thinking, what the world is we're living in, and what the story is that we're telling in the dance. And that's the wonderful thing about him, is that we were actors. Dana also explained the intent behind Fosse's movements when she was part of the team who reconstructed his choreography for the FX show Fosse Verdon, a series that takes a look back at Bob Fosse and Gwen Verdon's relationship. That's what we do though, isn't it? We take what hurts and we turn it into a big gag and we're singing and we're dancing. So what was it like working with Sam Rockwell and Michelle Williams? Either one of them came in as a trained dancer, but they are portraying these iconic dancers so beautifully and you would not know, you would not know that they didn't dance. They worked their butt off and, you know, it was about drilling it, drilling it, drilling it, drilling that one move until it was perfect and that's kind of how we worked with him. Practicing those legendary Fosse moves until you get them right is exactly what a new generation of dancers are enjoying at the Fosse Masterclass. And hopefully the FX series will steer even more dance aficionados to the class. It's stuff that we have been trying to do for years to uh, reconstruct material and have master classes and sharing the work. Seven years ago it wasn't as fashionable but with the FX, Verdon Fosse, and just with just more attention to Fosse's work, I just feel so grateful that it's happening right now. If you want to get your Fosse on, look for the next master class coming in the fall. For Arts of the City, I'm Tina Beth Pena.